last 100, 150 years were very exciting for human race. Look at the development, look at the growth, the technical evolution, new yuan, new discoveries. Of course, there were wars, there were troubles, problems, even right now, but still, the last 150 years were incredible for human race. 21st century will be just a beginning. So 20th century was a preparation for understanding what is to be human. Let's imagine year 2200, only 200 years from today. Planet Earth, human population 60 billion. New way of living, new crises, new wars, new values. And new values are not gold or car or house. The social way of living will be totally different based on communication skills of human. The values are life sustainable substances like water, for example. And technological progress will reach its incredible levels. So the speed of light is not as we know today. There is no limitation of any kind of speed. Plus, physical movement will not be so necessary. If you want the information, you get the information. So, new ways of communication will be developed. But still, 16 billion people on a small planet called Earth. So, human race is looking for new homes. We conquered our planetary system and we're going up of the limits, trying to find new suitable place for our children. And let's imagine, among billions of planets, there is a possibility we'll find some of them. And one of them, only one of them, let's imagine, will be suitable enough for our life. Suitable doesn't mean we can come and can leave, no. It's not ready yet, not the appropriate uh, bacterial system, circulation, atmosphere, etc., etc., etc. So what we're gonna do? We're gonna start digging in a sense of adapting the planet. That will take long time, hundreds of years. So we'll be enriching that planet with a necessary atmosphere, with a necessary amount of energies, energies that we produce, we consume. How are we going to do that? Probably, first of all, experiments, experiments, experiments. Enormous amount of people working on it. So new human genes produced on the satellites and implemented on that Earth. And still, one failure, second failure, third failure. But the time will come when the planet will be adapted. Maybe not the entire new planet, but a part of it. My question is, such a success, what are we going to do? Who's going to live over there? Who will be transporting 16 billion to that planet? Part of it at least. And which part of it we're going to transport? And as we can trace or monitor the behavior of this race. Even a little piece of ground raises a conflict between the neighbors. What do you think? What's gonna be within a human population when there is an opportunity, there is a new home and you can live over there? So I think the Second World War will be a playground in comparison to what's gonna happen then. So that's why we will not be transporting someone from here. We'll be producing, we will be engineering the gene on the satellites and implementing those genes over there. So the human on that planet will not be from the Earth. It will be human gene developed and implemented. Plus, conditions anyhow are different. Hey, look, even today, people are living on a sea level, and people are living on a mountain. 
a two different way of living, both different way of breathing, consuming, so two different types. And now we're talking about new home with new conditions. So that new race, human race, that will be growing on the planet should have no idea where are they coming from. Why do we have to give them consciousness right away or teach them about technology if we know what is happening to the Earth even today? So development, growth, evolution has to have its own sequence and speed. And we will do all our best to protect our children from our own mistakes. But without telling them that we are the fathers and mothers, I'm there on a planet called Earth, your family lived. Just because, quite normal, everyone on that new planet would love to visit Earth and then anyone from that planet Earth would love to visit new planet. But you cannot compare two races. Earth race and new Earth races. They are two different species. So actually, we will be transporting the gene. We will be making new human without them knowing that they are human. So of course, the easiest way to say to them that they appear at least from this new planet monkeys. So, I was talking about 2200. That's just the beginning. Try to imagine 3000 years, actually 1000 years from now on. Can you imagine our level of understanding the values of the universe? If that's the way it's gonna go, and this is the way it's going, we're already crossing at least our solar system. Maybe on some planet a while ago was some kind of human race and they came to the same condition as we're going to be in a couple of thousand years from now on and they figured out that there is a planet called Earth. So the same method because there is no any other methods and maybe we are the children have been born over here without knowing who are our parents just to avoid the possible huge conflict 